Hi everyone, this is my brand new homebrew computer called the HB6809 and it has at its heart the same 6809 CPU that features in the Tandy, Coco, the Dragon 32 and even more lesser known computers from makers like Fujitsu and Thompson. Since it's Sept Tandy and I've recently completed work on this board, I thought what better reason than to do a little 8-bit CPU race and see how it stacks up against CPUs of its time. Before I get started, let me take a short moment to thank PCBWay, the sponsor of this project. PCBWay has again kindly offered to cover the cost of prototyping on the HP 6809. PCB Way is a PCB assembly, 3D printing, and metal fabrication one-stop shop. They provide these services fast and at high quality. In fact, if you head over to the HP 6809 Hackaday I.O. site in the most recent project entry, I compare a through-hole PCB from JCL PCB with the finished boards that PCB Way recently did for me. You can find the link in the description. Thank you, PCB Way. This is the computer starting up and loading a basic program for computing a common fractal equation called the Mandelbrot set. In simple terms, it's a complex geometric shape that is constructed using repetitive values in which each part of the fractal looks exactly like the fractal as a whole. Of course, that's a gross oversimplification, but you only need the general idea of what you're looking at here in order to get the gist of the experiment. I took this basic program and ran it first on the HB6809, then on the Z80 equipped Z80 MBC2, a fun little single board computer by Fabio De Fabis. And then just really to give the chip a run for its money, I also compared it to the V20 MBC, a very similar single board computer from the same maker that sports an 8088 clone, the NEC V20, each running the exact same basic program, all running Microsoft Basic. I set both the Z80 and V20 to run at 4 MHz, figuring twice as fast was in general a fair comparison, actually slightly over twice as fast given the clock speed of the 68 Bravo 09 in my build was only 1.8 MHz. The basic test program is exactly the same, except the serial output command is slightly different on the Z80 MBC2 and the V20 MBC. I wanted to give each board the best chance, so I wrote custom IO routines to output directly to the hardware instead of using the print symbol to deliver the output to the terminal. The results were very interesting. The 6809 beat out every other CPU at even half the speed. By far the most interesting result was the 6809 beat out a clone of the 8088 that was designed to be about 15% faster than the original 8088 itself at the same clock speed. I ran the test under the 8080 emulation mode of the V20 simply to see how much slower an 8080 would perform at approximately the same test and the results were not surprising. Keep in mind these are incredibly unscientific tests I did with a stopwatch. Obviously, the results will differ from basic to basic, though I did try to keep the race as fair using Microsoft Basic for each iteration of the test. It's an interesting thing to think about. What if the 6809 had been more competitively priced? Would Intel still have dominated the microcomputer market? It's hard to say, but it's fun to think about. I hope you enjoyed our little foray into the world of the 6809. I'd also like to use this chance to let everybody know that the resource files for the HB6809 are now available on GitHub. If you're interested in seeing the computer in action, you can watch my previous video to see the basic operation of the prototype, which does not differ from this release version. Thanks for watching. Like if you want, share only if you think it's interesting, and maybe I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.